In this segment, I'm going to show how I changed the angle of my ball joint on my upper A arm. This is my jig that I made up, and it has two holes that correspond with these two holes on the back of your A arm. So we'll go ahead and get that mounted up. Now that I have my A arm mounted up on, on the rack here, I guess you'd call it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my ball joint at the same angle it is when my when the pickup is ground up. When, now that the lower ball joint is at the correct angle, I'm going to slip on my jig and then I'm going to put my nut on to hold it in place. This is a closer up view of the jig and you can see what the bolts are and then you can see how the A-arm ball joint connects into this bracket. Now that the ball joint is removed from the A-arm, I have clamped it down to the table so it's nice and secure and won't move. And I grab a straight edge, make a straight line with so as that it doesn't end up like most all my other stuff around here. And I will scribe a line to do it right along here. And the reason why is because when I re-weld this together with that added joint or the way that edge or angle or whatever you want to call it is, I can beef it up with a lot of extra weld and make it a nice secure, a nice secure, it will be nice and solid. Now if you don't know how to weld or if you're uncomfortable with this because you don't want to be driving down the highway with your wife screaming bloody murder that you're going to die, I would strongly suggest taking it to somebody that you know is or is a certified shop or something yes, because I don't even know if this is going to be the right camber or caster or whatever. And here is the A-arm cut. So now I'm going to go ahead and, and reassemble my ball joint. Once you have all your mating surfaces cleaned and free of any paint or oil or grease or whatever then you can make sure this, this will also aid in having a better weld. You can just see I've got some some tacks just to hold it in place and then I'll go ahead and disassemble the ball joint again and uh, do some more. Okay, let's weld this thing together. It's done being welded, and now we're ready for grinding. Welded it inside and out. We'll grind it. And here you have it, all nice and done. You can see how it's built up extra along this edge. Sandblasted. And that's the A-arm conversion.